A Dayton woman charged with involuntary manslaughter and child endangerment in the death of her young son appeared in court today. Wanisha Smith pleaded not guilty in Dayton Municipal Court on all charges. She's being held on $1 million bond. Firefighters found her one-year-old son dead after neighbors called 911 complaining of a smell. 2 News reporter Deborah Bogart has the new information. 33-year-old Juanisha Smith is facing those charges. Court documents just released say she left him alone, knowing doing so would cause him to die. Balloons and a teddy bear shrine lined the apartment building where a one-year-old boy was found dead Tuesday afternoon. His mother, Juanisha Smith of Dayton, remains behind bars. Court documents show Smith admitted to Dayton police that on or around May 16th, she bumped the child's head on a chair, rendering him unconscious and unresponsive. They go on to say, though she knew he was injured, she did not provide medical care. She then left him alone in their apartment in the 1800 block of James H. McGee Boulevard, knowing doing so would cause him to die. Nearly a month later, the baby's body was discovered after neighbors called 911 complaining of an odor. I think there's somebody over there that's deceased. It's like a bad smell coming from her house. Okay. Like, so uh, bad. Yeah. Do you like have any idea who lives there or what their name is by chance? No, I haven't seen her. I usually see her, see her come in, and but ain't nobody came and knocked on the door. Nobody okay. came out. Dayton police say once they arrived at the apartment, they also requested the Dayton Fire Department to help. Firefighters located the remains of a small child who had been dead for some time. Smith does have other children, but officers said none of them live with her and are safe. The Montgomery County Coroner's Office tell us they are not yet able to release the identity of the boy. Reporting in Dayton, Deborah Bogart, 2 News, working for you.